You're gonna be a good boy. Maybe we can clip him from Van Cleef. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome! How are you all doing? Spring is finally here and I am so excited for it. We're just about to head out to pick up some stuff for brunch, but I thought I'd start off this vlog before we take off. I feel like I've already been talking to you for an hour and that is because I was. Did my skincare and makeup this morning on a live here on YouTube. It's currently Saturday and I had so much fun with you guys. I think I'll be doing the same thing next Saturday. So do keep an eye out for that. We've got a beautiful sunny day here in Normandy in France today. About to go ahead and get some stuff for brunch. Avocados to make some guacamole, we're getting oranges to make some fresh orange juice, we're gonna get some nice croissant, we're gonna get a lot of cheese, yummy yummy French cheese. I'm feeling very Normand today. I've got a pair of navy trousers that matches the stripes in here. Do you know what? I'll try and see if I can do a little outfit of the day um, standing here later. Well, that's basically all that there's for today's agenda. And then on this week's agenda, I am taking you to Paris with me. We're gonna go to the launch of a lovely fragrance brands and hopefully before this video goes up I will have received my new ring air. I also did some cheeky shopping from a mess but that's not arriving until a week or two weeks time. It might be a little quota shopping <laughs> but from the vintage department which I'm equally excited about. So today's little outfit of the day I am wearing this mariniere in the long sleeve style like I was telling you about. This one's from Kos and it's super comfortable, particularly for a day like this, that the sun's already out, but it might get a little bit chilly under the shadow. Still, it's a completely sunny day and you wanna be in tune with the weather. And then I have a pair of high-waisted navy trousers. These ones are from Massimo Dutti. They're super comfortable, very wide. I think they just really like dress up an outfit. And then for my back today, I'm gonna do my Hermes Birkin with the little twillies that I dressed her in for springtime. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it up here for you. And I have my new Misuma earrings, which I haven't really taken much off lately. A pair of Celine Sunnies. I've got these two little bracelets in there. I like the sound they make. Do you guys like it too? It's like my dancing, <laughs> my dancing bracelets. These are the shoes I'm wearing today. They're a lovely pair from an Italian brand called Scaroso. You might have seen me unbox this ones last year. I remember we were going somewhere on holiday when I got this pair and they're just in suede navy, really, really comfy and love wearing this one some days like this. And that will be it for my outfit today. Tristan just got home and he got me some peonies. I think these are the first peonies of the year. So, so lovely. I'm obsessed with peonies. And this vase, we got it with a local artist and I really like it. She custom makes them for you in the size that you want. And we got about two or three in different sizes. Back from shopping and now prepping our little brunch. Making some scrambled eggs with ciboulette. Brunch is served. Here we've got some chèvre. This is a cheddar with some truff. And then we've got some emmental. And we've got a myriad of pastries, French pastries of course. We've got some guacamole. Scrambled eggs with a little bit of ciboulette. Olive oil to add on our other cheese that still hasn't been served. Fresh orange juice. And those of you who watched the Portugal vlog from last year, you might remember this one. We brought it back from Portugal. It's really, really lovely. Here we have it. This is the last cheese. It's got a little bit of olive oil, um, some flaky salt and pepper with it. Now we're going to brunch. Donc là, je voulais faire quelque chose de simple autour du matière première emblématique de la parfumerie, qui est même à l'origine de la parfumerie, qui est donc le sang. Ce qui s'est détaché, c'est que euh, beaucoup de clients disaient on n'a pas de fleurs d'oranger dans la collection. Good morning, I'm just back from the gym and from picking up 
all of the PR packages I've received from the office. This is going to be my monthly cure with cure. <laughs> The Taylor made monthly subscription program. I'll tell you a little bit more about it later, but I'm just so excited about having gotten it. I'm already gonna be taking my first one. Personalized sachets, how cute is that? I'm gonna make my morning orange juice and get myself to take in the first set of the cure vitamins. <laughs> These are the first three that I'm taking. This is gonna be omega-3. I've got some zinc and then this is vitamin C, which I know it looks redundant, but to be fair with you, some days I don't have the time to make myself my morning orange juice and I wanna keep my vitamin C intake to be quite a regular one because the doctor said I need to take that for my iron supplement to kick in. So this is the first cocktail. Also completely random, but we've got this terrace outside of our bedroom. We've ordered this Tuscany set um, for the summer months so we can have our breakfast in a terrace right off the bedroom. We thought that would be a cute addition to the house. Yeah, so this is gonna be the base of the table and then we'll have matching chairs arriving tomorrow. Took my vitamins and the little orange juice and now I'm all freshly washed and scrubbed and I've done a little bit of makeup because we're going for dinner later done a really really fresh one with this one from Chanel this is Chanel Le Beige yeah it's on the shade medium and it's gonna be a water fresh tint which I've already shown you although this one is a new one I have gifted to me by Todo Perfumeria in Uruguay it comes with this little brush as well and it just really gets the product gliding onto the face I'm so excited about filming here today it's not really finished whatsoever in any way shape or form is this place finished but I I am still really excited because I have a little bit more of a filming space set up here. I still need to get some curtains for the windows that are right behind you. Anyway, I thought we might as well give it a little test ride before it's finished and film the rest of the vlog in here today. Package number one. Yes, it is. Little minor interruption. I'm reboxing it because I was just doing a little bit of an ASMR unboxing for the other app. It will be on a shorts on this one too, but their packaging looked very promising. So I didn't want to pass on that. Let's have a look at the ring. Now, for those of you who haven't watched my last terrace vlog, by the way, I'll link it up here for you. I had received the sizing kit for the Ultra Human Ring Air, and that was in order for me to know what size I'm gonna be needing for this one right here. Things are looking really, really promising so far. This is what the ring looks like. I chose mine on the color gold, but there are several others you can choose. There's Road Titanium, Asta Black, Matte Gray, Bionic gold which is the one I picked and then there's space silver so I picked mine to go on my index finger I thought that would be the best considering I wear my wedding bang here and then on this finger so I'm mainly wearing stuff so I didn't want it to clash with any of the rings that I wear on a regular basis I quite like how it looks in there I mean besides the fact that it's obviously something I've gotten for the utility side of things I think it looks really really lovely added to my everyday ring stack what do you guys think? I think also perhaps on this finger and if I am not wearing this other one, it also looks really lovely like that, doesn't it? At a first glance, it's a really, really lightweight product and it's super comfortable. I mean, you cannot even tell that there's a microchip underneath there. In the packaging as well, you're gonna get the little manual in there. Love the description. You're gonna get the charging dot and then you charge your ring on this base. So I'm gonna be taking this baby with me to the gym tomorrow to start testing testing it out. So tomorrow is Friday. Normally I don't go to the gym on Saturday, Sundays, but on Monday, I guess I'll give it a second ride. And then towards maybe like midway through the next vlog, you'll be getting a full on review about it and how I'm getting along with it, what conclusions I'm taking from the readings I'm getting from it. For those of you that did not watch the Paris vlog, this is the smart ring that's going to connect to an app and help me get readings on my sports performance, on my sleep and on my resting time. There there's a myriad of other things that I'll be able to read with this ring, but obviously after testing it out, I'll be able to tell you a little bit more about it. This one's going to go right here with the other electronics on my desk, so I don't forget to charge it 
later. With the code PEER10, you can get 10% off discount of your first, second and third ring gear if you guys are interested in testing it out. If you're waiting for the review for it before testing it out, do stay tuned for the next vlogs. Someone else I'm partnering with for this video will be the monthly subscription box Cure. Cure is a personalized vitamin subscription service. The way it worked was I entered their website, completed the test that they proposed through which their experts behind will let you know what they think you should be taking. You're still going to be able to choose anything you want. I still removed some of the stuff that I was advised to take and added some other stuff that I wasn't taking because I would already had those vitamins here at home. But it was really interesting to see that the things that they advised for me to take, many of them I was already taking and then some of them <clears throat> were either a surprise or something that colleagues had told me I should be getting on to. So I am very excited for it. I got this one in here, which is your daily doser. In your daily doser, you're going to get individual packages that look like this. It says, Bonjour Pia. For the time being, they're only available in Europe. You can also get them in English, Spanish, French, German, and Italian as well. And then inside of this little envelope, what I'm gonna have is my daily dose of the vitamins I ended up picking. So on this occasion, I have some zinc, I've got vitamin C and omega-3. I think there was iron and magnesium that it was advised for me as well, but I ended up removing those since I'm already taking those at home anyway. And then the other thing that I got advised to take is the vegetable protein powder. I'm looking really forward into incorporating a little bit more protein into my diet. I have started regularly weight lifting at the gym. Nothing super heavy, but still it's a new addition to my routine. Also, I'm recovering from a broken, I don't know how to say that, déchiré muscle in my arm, which means I need a little bit of extra protein in my body to help it recover faster. It's a hundred percent vegan there's no sugar in it there's no sweetener in it there's no lactose which i'm a little bit lactose intolerant even if we all know i love my cheese <laughs> and there's no gluten in it and there's no soy in it 40 percent of pea protein 35 percent of rice protein and 25 percent pumpkin seed protein the expiry date for it is still december of 2024 so it's still something that i can start off later if i feel like it it's not like you get your stuff and you're immediately obliged to start it and I think for the packages as well, if I remember correctly, yes. So these ones are worth through April, 2025. Now for them, I have a 30% off discount code. Once again, if you wanna wait and see how I'm getting along with it, I totally understand. But if you guys are already taking this type of vitamins and you are looking to get a 30% off, I'll leave it written here in the screen for you and next to the cure link on the description area down below for you. And now lastly, before I share share with you everything that fits on my Hermes bag. I remember a couple of comments said that you were looking into using it as a work bag and how much stuff would fit on it. So I said, I'll just make sure to include it on the next vlog. Now, as you will have seen, I was recently in Paris for the Olibanum launch. And this was the 19th fragrance that the brand was launching, actually. Olibanum is quite a recent perfume that launched in Paris just a couple of years ago. And what they set out to doing was creating a brand that would make all of this natural scents that we're used to, say for example, leather or cardamom. But every single perfume that they create would be made around the olibanum resin, which is basically the sort of precursor to incense, if that makes sense. To me, when smelling the olibanum, it really reminded me of going to Oman, immediately transported me to the frankincense burning around at the hotel where we were staying at. This is called Neroli. Many people think that Neroli will be a natural ingredient, but it's actually not. So Neroli is what we know as the name for the orange blossom flower. However, there are two ways in which you can extract an orange blossom fragrance. Something really interesting right off of looking at it is that there is no cap for it. So when you go like that, perfume won't come off. You just 
remove this little one. And this was a conscious decision from the brand in order to minimize packaging. Everything in the brand is created with recycled products and recyclable products as well. We've also gone for a really low amount of glass being used as well. This one's an eau de parfum. They've mixed it in with some top notes of bergamot, which is something really lovely and quite a current fragrance, I would say, when it comes to the more summery months of the year. But then in order to give it that little bit more of extra roundness, and then obviously in order for it to be aligned with the rest of the perfumes that the brand proposes, there is also a little bit of that frankincense or olibanum resin in the perfume scent as well. We actually had an atelier with one of the parfumeurs of the brand. We went ahead and smelled all of the different ingredients and scents that went into creating this particular fragrance. But what I found the most interesting, the second part of the workshop in which we layered this one with other scents. They've so kindly given me for me to play at home with all of my favorite layerings because we did like a zillion gajillion layerings. Okay, maybe not so many, but there are 19 fragrances in total. This one right here is the leather one. The leather and the neroli for me me makes it a very sort of sexy, mysterious, masculine. Probably because my husband tends to wear a lot of leather-based perfumes and this is how I think of him. <laughs> but this is kind of the scent I'm getting. And then there was cardamom, which once again reminded me to those sort of exotic travel holidays at nighttime. If layering perfumes is something that appeals to you, I find it very interesting that you can do it very easily within your own brand. Now, the last thing I thought I'd share with you regarding the perfume, which to me was honestly quite captivating, was the fact that it reminded her of a flower's natural cycle, where in the morning it will be a little bit sparkling, just like the bergamot. Towards midday, early afternoon, it will be full of energy, strong, fully opened. And then towards the evening or nighttime, it kind of goes down into a deeper mood. It's quite full because I was actually using it yesterday for a meeting. I think the only thing I took off of it was was my phone. So I'm just gonna put that back on in there so you get like a true what's in my bag or what fits in my bag little video in here. I guess the last thing I had added was this scarf which I took off halfway through a meeting yesterday. And then I have this one right here, which is my Bulgari exotic skin wallet. The phone that I literally just added in there just so you see that it fits. That one's a Pro Max, just in case for reference. And this one's a Birkin 30 hair clip, Elizabeth Arden cream. The little thingy for the locket. In case I want to add it as a little decoration. The little raincoat that it comes with. I've got my tape measure. I'm a personal stylist. Having a tape is always crucial. And then I keep it inside of this little special order pouch from a mess as well. This was custom made at Hermes by my husband for me. So he added Pia and a little star in there because he knows how much I love stars or the stars, stargazing, all that jazz. We stargaze here quite often, almost every night, as long as there's a clear sky for keeping my clothing fluff free. A little sticky roller. So that's something that I really, really like having in my handbag with me. Particularly when I see Biquette. If you guys have been here around for a while, you'll know what dog I'm talking about, but any dogs whatsoever, as soon as I see them, I'm all over them. I've got the GM agenda from Vuitton and that will be it. Now you can fit a laptop in there. I won't put mine inside. What I do take in it many, many times will be my iPad. I think I would like a larger Birkin if I have to take my computer inside. But yeah, I hope that was useful. I hope that evacuated any questions you guys might have regarding how much fits inside of the bag and it is a toggle leather which means it's going to slouch a little bit over time. I do like it a little bit like opened up like that on the sides but if it can keep and hold its shape for the most part I'll be happy. If you have any other questions regarding this bag or any of the other bags that you know I have don't hesitate to leave them on the comments down below and I'll leave you a link up here to the bags playlist I have put together in which I review bags and analyze bags show you how I carry them how I style them all that jazz. All right, you guys. So that will be it for today. Thank you all so much for having watched. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you did, I'll leave you two more in here so you can binge a little bit more. See you on the next one. Bye.